Good morning from a foggy Washington, D.C. where it's just a little bit chilly. Uh, it's going to get warmer in a bit. I'm on my way down to the mall and you know what, maybe we go to a museum today. That would be kind of interesting. But you know, it's a Tuesday and most of the museums are closed. Maybe we just go for a hike. Heck, let's just go find something. There's a fire truck down here and some police cars. Let's go take a look. Slightly abnormal. Looks like a fire truck in front of, well, the Japanese embassy. Lots of construction. In fact, I don't even know if the road is open. It looks like they've detoured all the vehicles off Massachusetts Avenue. Which means all the cars have to shunt back by Barack Obama's house. We're going to skirt around some of these houses and sneak back over to Mass Avenue where the fire truck is, hopefully. Oh, a bus had to come down the street? That's mental. Everyone's getting detoured down this street, which is not big enough for a detour. Okay. So let's see what's up here. More fire trucks. We got a tower. We've got Secret Service police everywhere. Hmm. Something odd. Could be a gas leak. Could be a fire. Looks like firemen are stopping people on the street. This guy's uh, got tape. Oh, they had a gas line? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> gas leak. So the construction crews have hit a gas leak on Massachusetts Avenue right in front of the Japanese Embassy. So now all the embassies and police are basically, basically a nightmare. Ooh, it actually stinks here. Actually, it really smells bad. So that, that project back there is to replace the pipes, uh, the gas pipes, and, well, they hit the existing gas line, and now they've got a gas leak. And it really did smell. Um, I had to, like, get off that street. Anyway, let's make our way down to the White House, see if we can see anything. The vice president's coming. She's definitely not coming down that road. It's a little early, but I am hungry. So let's go for it. Morning. Okay, hot dogs ready? Yeah. Hot ready. dog and a Diet Pepsi. Okay. So guys, we're over at 18th and New York Avenue. This is about a block away from the White House. And it seems, it seems we've rediscovered the uh, movie crew for the film White House Plumbers or miniseries or whatever it is. Okay, back here is the dressing rooms of all the stars. Stunt driver, stunt driver, Lucy, stunt driver, stunt driver. So obviously not the main stars. The main stars might get their own like trailers. D. Mandel. Oh. DC reporter, DC reporter. So obviously these are like some uh, actors' names or the roles they're playing. Sue mm. Gordon Liddy. <laughs> He's back. He's back. Hang on. <laughs> this is like the whole cast and the whole production trucks. There's some serious money being spent on this film. It's a lot of HBO subscribers. This is Red Cross headquarters. There's actually a Red Cross memorial back here. You should be able to see there's the cross. I guess it's red. It's kind of more mauve or anything. Orange is red. In memory of the heroic women of, of the World War. I guess they didn't think there'd be another one when they put that sign up. 
Yep, we can get in Lafayette Park. But we can't get on Pennsylvania Avenue, which is a sign something is going to happen. Some sort of protest down here. It's always a protest down here, though. But this one has chanting. Someone once asked in one of the comments, do people pay attention in the White House to the protests? And the answer is no, not really. Unless they interfere with them getting around to work or something like that. And usually these are all pretty small. What's this one about? It's free. Freedom to vote. Oh, okay. No more voting rights. So this is a protest for voting rights. To get more voting rights. Yeah. All right, let's spin down this way. More. What do Go over to the Federal Reserve and drop off our bicycle. And then we'll make our way back to the monument grounds. Hawk 1 is requesting special vehicle for the people to stop us. Hawk 1 cleared uh, out of uh, Washington Southwest area as requested. Washington Altimeter 3018. 3018, Hawk 1.
one o'clock, that's Andrew South. Twenty one, quick take you. Secret Service is basically having a conniption. This vehicle got down here right as the Marine One was taking off, breaking through all the security protocols. They're pretty ticked off. So a car broke through the security perimeter on purpose, really, just go under, like, drops off some supplies, but the police freaked out. <laughs> Park Police, Secret Service. They're all kind of kind of freaked out. Let's go take a picture of these flies. So over here they're removing all the flags. Volunteers. They still have a lot to go. Hey guys, so Marine One is off, Air Force One is in the clouds, can't really see it today. Uh, I'm kind of hungry, I'm going to head down to Georgetown and get some lunch. Some protesters. National. Pray for North Koreans. Jesus saves. Korean National Anthem. Not sure though. This is the Federal Reserve Building. Main entrance, but the actual working entrance is back in the back. That's where everybody goes in. Nobody, I think I've ever actually seen anyone go in the front entrance. Back entrance is where all the x-ray machines are and whatnot. You can go back that way. CNBC used to have a camera back here. Bloomberg and CNBC, when the Federal Reserve governors would meet, they would come out here and yell questions to the guys. What are you doing about interest rates? You know, what's the spread? Da, da, da. It's a bit silly. So let's go up to the north side of the White House and then let's go get some lunch somewhere. Somewhere new, maybe, somewhere different. A lot of protesters up here, I think. There's a big police presence at the White House. Let's see what's going on. I wonder if they're trying to get arrested. We must love and protect one another. You're in violation of the ECMR.
And away they go. These are all Secret Service vehicles here. Huh, interesting. Let's cut through this narrow place and make our way back up to somewhere where we can get a decent hamburger. I can really go for a hamburger. Maybe, maybe some barbecue. Barbecue would be good too. Every day I set out with the intentions of finishing my videos before noon. And pretty much every day something more interesting comes up such that, well, I can't finish my videos by noon. So, well, that's just life, you know? Oh, attack the cone, attack the cone. Ah, cars! All right, let's get out of the city traffic, yeah? So I, ha I have to confess a little something. My very first job, just out of college, moved to Washington, D.C., living on a buddy's couch, trying to make ends meet and get a job in politics. So to make ends meet, to have money, my very first job in Washington, D.C. was Bicycle Messenger. <laughs> you guys probably could guess it, but yeah, I actually was a Bicycle Messenger. I used to ride my bike through the streets of the city, picking up packages and delivering them from office to office. And it was a lot of fun. It was also absolutely insane. Uh, but I got a really good read of the city. I learned my way around. And it was only a couple of weeks before I got a job in politics and put down the courier backpack for the last time. But uh, basically, I really don't have much of a problem riding in the city. Okay, so I just spoke to the wife and a contractor is in the building. So, and she has to go to her lunch, which means I have to go back and watch the contractor which means I don't get to go to my lunch. Anyway, let's pedal home as fast as we can. So guys, we're several hours later and this gas leak remains a problem. The police have still blocked access to this section of Embassy Row, cutting off the Korean Embassy and the Japanese Embassy as they work to secure the broken gas line. I don't know if I even get through on the sidewalk. I don't think so. And this road's closed too. Fudge, how am I supposed to get home? It's just closed to cars, maybe. Nobody guarding it. This is the Barack Obama house back here. Oh, yeah. You guys can't close off this much. Jeez. On your right, excuse me. Thank you. All right, so <laughs> we, we got around the police lines basically by going under them. The cop asked me if I knew what a police line was for. I said, thank you, sir, and just kept going. <laughs> It didn't seem too nonplussed. Honestly, that was a really stupid place to put a police line. That's like the one available exit for traffic. And they blocked that off too. The pumpkin patch is open. It's time for Halloween. So guys, another day in the big city. Lots of little bit of excitement. Lots of helicopters, always fun. I'm going to go back and edit this video up. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't. I will be back probably tomorrow because 
let's face it, kind of have fun doing this. All right, see you guys then. Bye-bye. The bells of the cathedral are tolling 700 times in honor of the 700,000 people who have passed away with COVID.